All right, guys, out here in South San Francisco, we're at the convention center. We are attending the HypeCon. We're gonna see what kind of Funkos that we're able to get. It's super windy right now, but uh, we're about to go get in this line. So let's go. All right, guys, we are back. We are back home. I did very little recording at the event. There was just too much going on. I had every single one of my list. Very recently, I started the Dragon Ball Z collection. Had a very nice haul. Took 53 different pieces for the collection and got a very important piece to finish one of my sets. And we will see what that is. 53 different pieces. We, of course, stopped at the Fugitive booth. Some really nice full bags. There's about three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve different Funkos per bag. We're gonna go inside, break them down, put them inside the protectors, and we will see what we took from this haul at HypeCon. It's 2021. The con is over, and I'm removing the HypeCon bracelet. Taking this off and putting it with the Lodicon bracelet that I did a few weeks back, so. All right, guys, here we go. I will save the best for last. Some of these, some of these Funko Pops still have the price tags on them. Some uh, do not have tags on them. But let's go with bag number one. $30. We are doing Scooby-Doo Flocked Purple Box Lunch, number 149. Actually, to tell you the truth, I actually have this Flocked version. I was looking for the blue, got a little too excited, ended up picking it up, and now I have a duplicate. So, next up, $35 for Number 234, the Blue Venom, Hot Topic exclusive. I just recently started my Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Z collection, so $45 on Vegeta. And this is the 2019 Fall Convention. Let's see, all right, $15. 158 Badman Vegeta Hot Topic exclusive. Back. All right. Now I do have other Dragon Ball Zs that I have up on the wall, but these are ones that I did not have and as I went through was able to hone in on the ones that I needed. So number 642 GameStop exclusive $30 Goku, Kamehameha. All right. Number 616, Raditz, $10. Number 518. Again, a lot of these are the Dragon Ball Z GameStop exclusive. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Number 815, Super Saiyan Kale, Box Lunch Exclusive, $20. Keep these actually right here. We'll finish the bag and then we'll put them away and go to the next bag so I'll have another, I have more room on the table. Number 317, Glow in the Dark, Galactic Toys Exclusive, Wiz, $20. Number 491, Super Saiyan Vegito, A Anime Exclusive, $20.
Number 713, Vegeta Powering Up. And this is a Chalice Collective Exclusive Limited Chase Edition. 50 bucks. Number 362, Galactic Toys Exclusive, Zen O, $15. Now that concludes this bag. We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve inside my Pikachu GameStop bag. And by the way, guys, this is the first video shoot I have ever done inside my Funko room that I did when I spent the last couple of months. This is one of the projects that I was working on and that was building custom shelves for this specific room. Now, I did a trial because I'm building other Funko shelves or other shelves that are gonna house the Funkos, which when I moved the collection to my other property, I have these custom shelves that will fit those exact dimensions on some of the walls that I'm doing, some of the walls that I prepped. So, my other PlayStation GameStop bag. Next up is Venom, number 676, Mayhem April Parker. This is a pop in the box exclusive, $25. We have Venom, number 703. By the way, this is part of my uh, Venomized collection. Venomized Thor. This is a Chalice Collectibles exclusive, $30. All right. Going back to the Dragon Ball Z, we have number 383. I probably paid ten dollars for this if it doesn't have a uh, any sticker on it, price sticker. This is Gohan training outfit. We have number six seventy Piccolo, and this is a two thousand nineteen fall convention limited edition, and this is in his um, I forget the the name of the pose where he's sitting Indian style, $25. All right, so we have number 712, Vegeta Gallic Gun. This is the limited chase edition and 40 bucks. This is number 385, Boma, and I probably paid 10, 10 bucks for this one. Uh, we have number 154, and this is a Super Saiyan Vegeta. This is a 2019 summer convention, and it is $25. Uh, this is number 712. This is Vegeta Gallic Gun, the special edition. Now, this and this, again, one is the chase edition and one is just the regular. 12. So it's not a duplicate. We have number 878, Kid Boo Kamehameha Galactic Toys Exclusive, $20. We have 846 GameStop exclusive, and this is Majin Boo with chocolate bar, 20 bucks. All right, next up we have number 860. This is Super Saiyan Goku. First appearance, special edition glow in the dark. $30.
Now, of course, on some of these special edition stickers, it could be a Walmart exclusive, it could be the various, but usually when I pick them up at, at Fugitive Toys, they'll have either the, the actual um, only at sticker or they'll have the special edition sticker, which I collect both. Um, so if I can't find the original, I will settle for the special edition until I can locate the actual sticker. All right, that completes bag number two. All right, guys, bag number three. My second Pikachu GameStop bag. We are doing more Dragon Ball Z. So we have number 865. This is Super Saiyan Goku with energy. PX preview, $15. We have... 864 Majin Buu Evil. This is a Funimation 2021 exclusive. All right. Number 509 Galactic Toy Galactic Toys exclusive Super Saiyan Gohan $20. I'm trying to angle it so the the light doesn't uh, really reflect off of it. All right, here we have an actual, this is the Emerald City uh, Con sticker. This is $7.58. This is Vegeta eating noodles, 60 bucks. Number 759, Perfect Sale. Another Emerald City Comic Con uh, limited edition sticker. And this is the glow in the dark 40 bucks we have number 10 Vegeta $20 all right part of my Street Fighter collection have not some of these that I hadn't collected this is number 70 Chun Li, $25. We are going back to the beginning. This is my Scooby Doo collection. And here we have Shaggy with the Scooby Snack, number 150, $30. All right, and number 149, Scooby-Doo. And this one was $15. All right, Street Fighter Collection. This is number 71. Ryu and I don't remember what I actually paid for him Now this one I was pretty excited about getting because I have the I have the male uh, figure and this is the Emerald City Comic Con number 48 this is Crusader Ret, and this is the exclusive con sticker, 40 bucks. So now I have the pair. Actually, he's right behind me. I didn't get this at HypeCon, but uh, she matches up, and this is the Glow in the Dark 2017 Emerald City Comic Con 179 Emerald City Crusader. All right, one last one inside this box. This completes my Bruce Lee collection, actually. And this is number 856, The Green Hornet. This is the Toy Tokyo San Diego 2019 limited edition sticker. And this is Kato. So that completes that bag. Now guys, real quick before I go on to the next bags, 
I am an inbox collector, which I don't remove any of the pops from, from their boxes once I obtain them. I do trades. Now, is every probably 90% of my collection has remained in box. There are some trades and some, some pops that I've acquired that if they weren't directly from the store and I did trades, you know, if they were opened or... Usually they're not or it's disclosed that they weren't, but... To be 100% sure that they weren't taken out of the box, that would be impossible to know. All right, guys, here we go. Our first of the final two bags and my Fugitive Toy bag. Now, a lot of these I got from the Fugitive Toy booth. So um, if there's no sticker or price on it, it was most likely $10, uh, $15. Usually, if they're anything more than that, then there'll be a price or a sticker on it. But this is number 384, Tien and Chiatsu. I probably butchered that name. This is number 701, Vegeta Training. Again, probably $10, $15 I paid for this one. No sticker, no price sticker on it. This is number 528, Videl, Dragon Ball Z. And this is number 617, Chi Chi. 10 to $15 on this one. Uh, now this is 709. This is Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and it is a PX preview exclusive and it was $15. We have number 516. This is a limited edition convention exclusive. $30 Jiren. This is number 709. This is a limited glow chase PX preview Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. And this one was $40. We have number 402 Super Saiyan Broly. This is a 2018 summer convention sticker and it was $25. It's a large amount of Dragon Ball Z since I'm playing catch up. Majority of my haul was Dragon Ball Z. <clears throat> and that completes the Fugitive Toy Bag. Alright guys, my second Fugitive Toy Bag. We have number 14 Glow in the Dark Entertainment Earth exclusive, $10, and we are doing Super Saiyan Goku. $7.10, Amazon exclusive, $20, this is Goku eating noodles. All right, what was inside this one? I know he just gave me the box as the protector. This is, oh, this is part of my Yuji, my Yu-Gi-Oh collection. And this is number 886, and this is Yami Merrick, and it is the limited edition Toy Temple exclusive. We have number 811, and this is the Flocked, Champa, fifteen dollars. It has the special edition sticker. We have number one fifty four. This is the Toy Tokyo New York Comic Con limited edition sticker. Super Saiyan Vegeta. I'm not sure. Ten or fifteen dollars I paid for this one. And here we are with number. 843 Hot Topic exclusive 
and we got Scooby Doo. Fifteen dollars. Number seven oh six Krillin. Ten to fifteen dot probably ten dollars this one. We have number 845, and that this is Mecha Frieza with Blaster, special edition sticker, $20. And last but not least, we have 845, special edition sticker, Mecha Frieza with Blaster, Glow in the Dark, $30. All right, guys, now that totals all of the all of the Funko Pops that I got from the HypeCon convention, save for one, which is still on the table. It is one that I have looked for and tracked down for the longest time. I'm not sure I necessarily want to share that one because I was going to do a different video with it, but... I will go ahead and share it since it was part of this haul. I did pick it up from a collector and he actually has another fairly pricey one that I may acquire in the near future. But I did obtain this one last one and this one was my most expensive Funko Pop that I purchased during this haul. And this was number 20, Deadpool. And it was from the Matt's Calvacade. And this is the Glow in the Dark. This one was $600. So, goes part of my Deadpool collection. And that, my friends, was my entire haul from the HypeCon that was done in South San Francisco at the convention center. I had a blast. It was a pleasure meeting all of some of the new collectors, some of the collectors I've met in some of the other cons in the last few weeks to the last few months. I had a blast. It was nice to disconnect and be able to pick up my Funko Pop collection, which I'll be sharing a lot of these. I will be doing Funko Friday and sharing three to four pieces of my collection. Um, I have a lot of Funko Pops. I am probably in the 2500 range of Pops right now. So I will spend these Fridays and pick four of my Funko Pops until I do the entire collection and then I will show you room to room what my Funkos are all about and I actually have names that I have that are given to each one of the shelves based on the Pops that I collect. So anyways guys it was a pleasure we will see you on the next Funko video which will be done on Fridays and Happy collecting. Here is a closer view of the pops that I have laid out, the ones that I broke down. Now I intentionally did a far pan shot on the video just because I wanted to get a bigger and better perspective of the backdrop of the room. And so here is a closer shot of each one of the Funkos that I was talking about. Now, I do have to clarify something. On some of these prices, when I did uh, go to a booth and I bought multiple ones, even though the tag may say, like this says 20, on some of them, and, and even this one, where I talked about it being $600, I actually got that for $550. Now, I did pay about $20 above PPG, which is the pop price guide, but, the simple fact that I have been looking him forever, this specific one, the glow in the dark, the full body, uh, it was worth me paying the additional $20 above the 
PPG uh, price. So uh, some of them that I got together like this 30 and 45, depending on the booth and the vendor, I got a uh, uh, like a bundle deal. So maybe $5, sometimes $10. I made it to one of the final booths and I picked up two of the two of these pops that were in the Dragon Ball Z category and I got uh, $15, $20 off uh, total package price. So um, always nice to buy uh, multiple pops if you're gonna get a really good deal or 10, 15, $20 knocked off the, the total price. So just wanted to do a different view of all of the pops that I just had uh, originally displayed. And there we have it. Once I have these up on the shelf, I will do another video. All right, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so that way you're alerted to the next time I upload new content and we will see you on the next video. Move him out, hit him up, move him out, hit him up, hey!